Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. And today, let's continue our adventure to know God's creation from God's amazing creation book. And this morning, we will answer a question, Who am I about plants? Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us to lead us and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. It says, Happy are those who want to do what is right. God will reward them. Children, I am the most famous meat-eating plant. I am the only plant of my time and only found naturally in parts of North and South Carolina. The wet box where I live don't have the nutrients for me to grow, so I have a trap on the end of my stems that catches bugs. My trap has small spines on the end that look like eyelashes. The trap closes when three hair triggers inside it are brushed. It will open again in four or five days. Small white flowers sometimes appear on me in spring. What am I? And let's look at the answer. I'm a Venus flytrap. If it were up to me to get my food only from the ground where I grow, I would not survive long. But God gave me a special way to get my food and help keep the population of insects passed down too. I rely on Him to help me live. People should too. If you try to live life your own way, it leads to problems. But if we do things God's way, we will be much better off. Ask Him usually leads today to help you to live your life His way. Children, that's our quiz this morning. And congratulations to the children who answered correctly. And hopefully it will increase your knowledge about plants. Children, today we learn from a plant, the Venus flytrap. Hmm, what a strange name, isn't it? Although it sounds strange, this plant has a special feature that God gave. God provided a special way to get its food so that it could live longer. Children, if this plant depends on God to keep it alive, then what about you? Do you also surrender yourself to God and depend only on Him? Yes, in order for you to stay alive, depend on God. Give yourself only to Him, so that He will take care and protect you. Today, pray to God, surrender yourself to Him, and ask Him to guide you throughout your life. Children, today is the last day of 2022. Remember all of God's blessings and protection for you, and give thanks to Him. Ask Him to continue watch over and protect you in the new year. May the Lord bless and protect all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen. <laughs>